Ooh. All right, so right now I'm going to show you how to program an e-blade. This one works. Uh, I had to take the battery out of my carnivore. I don't really have any batteries. So, anyways, e-blade, power on, uh, and all that stuff. Anyways, so uh, what you want to do, open up the right side of the frame, and there's a little red button in there. My The orange light's kind of on it right now. Okay, anyways. Um, you press that and hold it, and the screen will say Tim, or what it stands for is timing. So, go into timing, see, uh, ask on, that's the sear on time, which means it's how long that thing, how long it clicks. Um, I actually prefer mine to have, a, have it at about 4 milliseconds. Um, this one... I don't think it does tenths of a second anymore. I think they do that later in the in the E2. I'm not really gonna mess with my carnivore right now. I like it how it's set. Um, up and down buttons, up, down, and then OK. It says OK. Um, sear delay, which is how long the delay is between when this turns on and when it activates the solenoid, which is this one up here. I'll just show you on my carnivore. So, anyways, hit that. I usually run mine at about. Uh, it's actually kind of low. Uh, normally I'll run mine around 6 or so. 6 to. F 4, 4 to 6. That's a good number. Set it at 5. Alright. See so on time, which is how long, the, how long this solenoid is open. So, that's how long it will stay cocked back. I run mine around 30 or so. 30, 30 to 40. 35 right now. You can probably get away with 34, 33. Okay. Um, see your timeout, which is I believe it's how long it waits for it waits for the eye. Um, I think it's usually in. I think it's at one, 170. Oh, all right. So um, this is the, this is the number for how long it waits if there's no ball in the chamber. Okay. Uh, sear off. So 25. You don't really need to run this that high. It's just the lower you run it, you're gonna need to up your LPR. So your your breach actually closes. So it's sear on operates the ram backwards. Sear off operates the ram forward. So um, lower numbers equal higher LPR pressure, which means higher stress on the rod. Um, I'm actually gonna bump this up to closer to 30. It's a 28 right now and back so that's how you time time it filters that's just for the trigger um, factory settings uh, and that's all you can really do with these there's not much to them they're fairly simple uh, there's not really much mystery in them uh, they're not as bad as everybody makes it sound oh yeah that's right I don't have an eye so turn the eye off And they will go pointy fast. Um, that's pretty much how you time E1. Eh, for the hell of it, why not? Go ahead and take it off, throw it in here. Ugh. So, um, this is the e one of the original E2 boards. This is the the one that doesn't have ramp. It's not the 0B, and I still have the red cover. All right, time this thing. Same thing, find the little red button. This time it's in a different spot. It's kind of buried under all these wires right now. That's over near where my finger is. It'll do it. Hold it for a couple seconds. It'll go timing. You can actually read it. I don't know if you'll be able to read it with my camera. Let's see if I can get it in focus. Um, filter, trigger. Um, this one actually has an eye type. The E2 boards, you can use brake beam. Um, the brake beam, the reflector eye, which is what, it, what they usually come stock with. This one is just the reflector. And I think you can run them without eyes. Power settings, like power saving for the batteries. Um, factory settings. So, timing. Sear on. This one, you can adjust it in tenths of a milliseconds. So, yeah, sear on's at 8. Uh, the delay is 6.5. Sear on, I can, I'm going to bump that down a little bit. 
So my CDR on is at 38. Timeout, one off. I'm going to move that up a little bit. Um, so, um, hang on, I'm just going to think real quick. 3.8, 10.3. Forty-eight. All right. So, if I did this right, this should be capped around thirty BPS or so, or not thirty, thirteen. That's what I meant. Uh, let me turn the eye off. Let's see what I can get up to. Thirteen, fourteen ish. See what it says. Uh, it actually says 12. I might stream a little bit longer. I think it's up to 13. All right. Um, these things, people. I, I, when I first got it, I was stumped at how to set the. Um, shit. What's it called? The cap. The BPS cap. The way the B, the BPS caps are on on e wade guns, and I'm not. I, Anyways, for e-blades, anyways, e-blades in general, the way the BPS cap is, you take the three, the timing numbers, and add them all together, and you put it over a thousand. So it's basically all the milliseconds added together over a thousand. I'll show you what it's at right now. So uh, go into timing, uh, sear on. You add the sear on, the delay, see on and off. Later.